How are you? Hi, Ken. I'm good, thank you. So we have this coin which we had analysed. We thought it was a fake, but it turns out to be real. Cool. I've actually to rush off to a meeting now. Perhaps you'd be willing to write up a label for this. I've left some notes in the in the notebook there. Yeah, no, definitely. I can do that for you. And I'll just put it on display here now. Right out here. Who? Hello? What was that? <laughs> okay, what the heck was that? Don't move a muscle. Keep calm, everyone. Remember, it's as scared of us as we are of it. Oh, God's man. Oh, you've gone and done it now. Shut up, new guy. She'll hear you. Hear you? How are you even talking? For years I've sat in here unnoticed, and you young fools have gone and proper ruined me peace. <laughs> Come on, you guy, keep the plate yourself. Sneezing? You're. you don't even have a nose! Wow, no need. Fake nose, fake noise, fake coin. Whoa, he's not a fake. He's as real as any of you guys. That's why we took him out of storage. Like, let's have a look at you. We clearly need to find out more. I'm called Kevin. Kevin? Why Kevin? Why not Kevin? Look, there's a picture on my front, but nobody could ever work out who it was. So they started calling me Kevin, and it just stuck. So I'm Kevin. Well, I'm sure we can do better than that. Come on, what have you got? Nout. She's got absolutely nout. Guys, I just need a minute. Hello. Might I be able to lend a hand? Who are you? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm an ancient historian. An ancient historian? Go on then, impress me. Well, the writing on the back of the coin says Caesar out. They first started doing that in the reign of Augustus, and later emperors continued the tradition. So from this, we can infer that the coin must have been minted sometime in the 400, 500 years after 23 BC. Hey, Kevin, you hear that? You're part of the Roman Empire. Over a thousand years old? That's pretty cool, I guess. But why was I made? Why am I here? Coins. Useful things. Many ancient societies thought so, at least. Under the Roman Empire, a number of different coins were minted. Those depicting emperors, gods, important figures, and commemorating key events. But it's really important to stress that coins weren't always used in the same way they are now. There are a number of places across the ancient world that developed different methods of payment and exchange. Oh, he's good. We know roughly when I was made and what I was for. But where do I come from? Well, you're apparently made from copper, and from what I can remember, the best copper in the ancient world was sourced from Cyprus. Cyprus, eh? Where's that? What else can you tell me about it? Well, Cyprus is an island in the Mediterranean Sea, and, um, lots of copper comes from Cyprus? Yeah, you said that. Come on, what else do you know? Um, well, there was lots of it. We need more than that. Can the funny guy upstairs help us out again? Come on. Ser seriously? I, I'm on my break. I, I can't even get five minutes. I, geez. Alright, fine. 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 I'm going. Go. No, 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 definitely not. Oh god, mm, right, right. <clears throat> Cyprus had begun exploiting copper around 4000 BC. It soon became a major player on the Near Eastern trade scene and began to supply copper to a variety of communities across the Mediterranean. Being an island also helped. Due to the land being surrounded by the sea, plenty of ports began to develop along coastline. This allowed Cyprus to import and export goods at will. Right, cut, cut, cut. Come on, you're supposed to be a wise old man. Deepen your voice. We've been over this before. You were doing so well. Right, right, fine, chill. Okay. <clears throat> Take the Uluburan shipwreck, for example. That was the name of a ship that sank sometime at the end of the 14th century BC, whilst on its round trip of the Eastern Mediterranean. It was discovered on the seabed off the coast of Turkey. 
It had 314 oxide copper ingots from Cyprus on board when it went down. And that's just one trade ship. It took 22,000 dives over a period of 10 years to recover everything the ship contained. What is an ingot? An ingot is a relatively pure piece of material, usually metal, that is then cast into a shape suitable for further processing. So copper and other metals weren't just used for coins? It could be made into lots of other things? Yes, exactly. Statues, furniture, offerings to the gods. In fact, the byproducts of copper and copper rust were used to treat ulcers and sores in the ancient world. Cool. Gross. Gold, silver, copper, and bronze were used to make coins across the Roman Empire. Coins like Kevin were minted centrally by Rome, and also by local communities in the provinces. Wait, so I'm minted? That means I'm rich! Get in! Not that kind of minted, you numpty. Minted here means the process of turning metal into coins. Oh, right, yeah. I knew that. Just checking, you know. How do they even do that? It's very rare that we can use a metal in the form it's in when we dig it up. Usually, it's one metal that's mixed up with several other elements. We call this an ore. So, before we can start using the metal, we need to extract it from its ore. This is done through a process called smelting, where the ore is heated to incredibly high temperatures. Tem Copper, for example, is heated to around 1,000 degrees Celsius. 1,000 degrees? Oh my god, it's hot in here! Oh. And then they, they, they heat it up and they do the, they do the thing and it is, no, 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 too warm, no. What are you doing? Put, put the beard back on. Why? Because people won't take you seriously as a historian without the beard. Oh yeah, because that makes sense. I think it's pretty obvious that young people can be historians too. You know what? Good luck, man. I'm out. I had no idea that wasn't an old man. So. They heat it up, and then a small round piece of metal is struck on both sides of the mould, called a die. One side of the coin would have the image of the emperor, and the other side would depict another image. If a coin was minted by the Roman state, the image would relate to the priorities of the emperor. If in the provinces, it would reflect local affairs and identities, for example, local gods. Without a mark to indicate which one you are made of, there's really no way of knowing where you are from. Sorry, ma'am. But if all this is true, if I was made by the Romans out of metal over a thousand years ago, possibly from somewhere far away from here, how am I supposed to fit in here in Swansea? Hey Kevin, Swansea has lots in common with all of these places. Like the weather? You mean I can get my tan on? Aren't you bronzed enough already? Well, that's the worst joke of the film. Look, come with me and I'll show you that an object made of copper really can be at home in Swansea. to a part of Swansea called the Copper Quarter. For over 150 years, this was the site of the copper works, one of the major producers of copper during the Industrial Revolution. Swansea was so famous for producing copper that it was known as Copperopolis, the city of copper. Really? Is there lots of copper ore in Swansea then? Actually, no. Eh? So why was Swansea producing so much copper? Well, it's to do with how you extract copper from its ore. We talked about smelting, but that process requires really, really hot furnaces. And to heat those furnaces, you need lots and lots of coal. In fact, you need lots more coal than copper ore. Swansea might not have much copper ore, but it does have lots of coal. So it was much cheaper to bring the copper ore to Swansea than to ship all the coal somewhere else. In the 1700s, copper ore was brought over from places like Cornwall and Anglesey but later on it was brought over from much further away, like Argentina and Chile. Wow! So what we've seen happening at Swansea is like what we've seen in ancient Cyprus and other parts of the ancient Mediterranean. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, actually, the guy who owned the land that the museum is built on bought it with the money he made from the copper industry. So you'll be living in a place which has been affected by the copper industry just as much as the place you're from. This has been really fun and interesting. Thank you for telling me more about who I am. I've had such a great time. It's been really interesting getting to know more about you. Hi Rosie. Hi Rosie. Hi Rosie. Hi Rosie. Hi Rosie. You're still here. Hi Ken. Yeah, oh, I lost track of time. That coin took way longer to analyse than I expected. Here's the draft of the label. What, what, what do you think? 
That sounds really good. I think it's ready to be sent off for Welsh translation and then we can put it on display. Thank you. Great. Did you... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home now. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll finish up locking up. Bye, Ken.